Hi, I'm Jacob Moser. And I'm Caleb Garrison. And you're watching Panther News. Today is election day for many states and cities. Most items on the ballot are state amend amendments to the Constitution and local initiatives for bond improvements. Host the week is this week, and to celebrate, we are making a wall of first responders and military members. Bring a copy of someone you know who has contributed to the military service or first aid to Mrs. Salazar in Lab 1. There will be an information session this Thursday during tutorials in the small band hall for students interested in joining the Winter Color Guard. Open tryouts will be next week. Color Guard is a co-ed competitive activity and no experience is required to join. Last year, the Winter Color Guard won the bronze and gold medals and was the 5A state champion. Two TCU shuttle drivers have recently put their fellow drivers in danger, allegedly because of serious road rage. One was shooting while the other rammed their shuttle into the other one. Both shuttles were from the Roadrunner brand, but neither driver has been identified. One driver, the shooter, has abandoned their shuttle and is currently being searched for. According to two North Korean defectors, North Korea's nuclear tests have caused health problems for people near the testing site because of extremely high radiation levels. Reports indicate that some have even died due to the testing. An Indian flight has been rerouted back to their initial location due to a mishap between a couple. Allegedly, the woman didn't stop beating her husband due to finding out about an affair by unlocking his phone with his fingerprint while he slept. Saudi Arabia on Monday called the attempted miss missile attack on Riyadh's main airport this weekend an act of war by Iran and vowed to retaliate. Now it's time for the question of the day. Three hens lay 20 eggs for a farmer. Two-fifths of the first hen's eggs are brown. One-fourth of the second hen's eggs are brown. Seven-tenths of the third hen's eggs are white. What percentage of all eggs are brown? Is it A? 32%, B, 19%, C, 95%, or D, 54%. There's also a trivia question. Which U.S. state is nicknamed the Treasure State? Is it A, Indiana, B, Montana, C, Pennsylvania, or D, Colorado? And now to Ayana with sports. Thank you, Caleb. The playoff march continues tonight for the MHS Varsity Volleyball team who will be playing Red Oak at Cedar Hill High School at 7 p.m. Come show your support and cheer on our Panthers towards the next round of the playoffs. Panther running back Landry Songer broke the rushing record Friday night. The record for yards gained by rushing was 228, and he had 231 against Red Oak. His five touchdowns also broke the touchdown record. That was at four. If you, are, if you are interested in trying out for boys or girls soccer, you must register, register this Friday if you are not in the soccer class. Boys need to register with either Coach Guest in room 604 or Coach Suter, which is in the further right art room. The left one is Mr. Franks. Girls need to register with either Coach Stapleton in room 115 or Coach Dwyer, who is in room 725. If you are not registered by this Friday, then you will not be allowed to try out this year. That's all for sports. Back to you. And the answer to the question of the day is A, 32%. And the answer to the trivia question is B, Montana. That's all for Panther News today. Thanks for watching. Remember to go to and, and go, go Panthers. Panthers.